That's right. Trudy is here with her top hair hacks. To live by morning, Trudy. Morning. So what's your first hair hack then? Cut. Customise the cut. And I always say to people, be realistic. You know, go, your hairdresser's not a magician. So that's the first tip. No, oh, okay. it's disappointing. <laughs> and you're the one that has to style it. So be realistic about your capability and your ability to style your hair. So get a cut that's not necessarily trend based, that suits your hair texture and your ability to style your own hair at home. Right. Because they're not going to be with you 24 7. And also, if you actually Google enough pictures, your haircut mm. will always be on trend. There'll yeah. be somebody who's got your haircut, you go, oh, it looks Totally, cool. but also put your finger over the face because you're not going to come out looking like their celebrity. <laughs> your hair is, but your face isn't. And a lot of time you look at that result and you go oh I don't look like that because you're not going to so just be realistic <laughs> about your cut and realistic about your hair. And there's the first hack. So That's how, the first hack. How do you manage it? It's tools. Now a lot of people product overload and I'm a fan of hair product because they do change the texture of your hair but it's your tools you use so invest in some tools. Brushing your hair is polishing your hair so I've bought in two products that are like brushes with training wheels. When I say that, learn how to give yourself a good volume blow dryer if you've got fine hair. Both of these brushes are tangle teaser, they do a myriad of brushes. I bought in a wet one so that is great for combing through conditioner in the shower and this round brush is brilliant for fine hair, for getting a volume blow dry. The bristles are wide apart which means your hair doesn't get stuck. A lot of people start the volume yeah. blow dry and they, they almost have to cut the brush out of their hair because they get so tangled and so stressed and then they give up. Okay, that's about me. So get some great tools because they do help. Good tools. What about frizz? Okay, frizz is a problem because Usually your hair is lacking moisture and there's moisture in the air and what your hair does is suck the moisture out of the air so that your hair has got some moisture in it, but it's not the sort of moisture you want because it's not an oil-based moisture, it's water. Bad moisture. So invest in something that's a miracle treatment or something that does it all. And I haven't used this for a long time, but I've just started again. It's Eleven. It's called Miracle Hair Treatment. Incredible, does everything. Eleven things. So it's one product for everything. Put it in wet hair, it stops frizz, adds shine, controls um, moisture level, um, prevents split ends. It sort of does it all. And I think that's a good product to have. Put it in your hair, mainly from the mid lengths to the ends down, mm. um, and then style your hair. And you've got this built in frizz fighter, which is a really good idea. Perfect. Now, one of my favourite things is that I use all the time is dry shampoo. I know, and it's so good. And I'm going to talk about, about dry conditioner in a minute, because a lot of people don't know that you can get what? that as well. I did not. So, dry shampoo, um, you don't just have to use it to clean your hair. A lot of people with fine hair can use it to add volume. Um, and I've bought one that's just launched last week, and I know that you've got that because we were at the launch together. We were. Um, and it's to um, got to be by Schwarzkopf. Um, it's a salon inspired brand that you buy in the supermarket. So $14. I love the scent of that. It's really fresh it's and almost fruity. Almost yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, and just section your hair. Really, it's the top section that you need to put the dry shampoo. Always at the roots and hold the can a little bit away from your hair. If you do it too close, you can sometimes get the white residue. And just lift up the sections and spritz between the sections of the hair. Yeah, that one's nice. I've used that one. Yeah. I'm really liking it. Yeah, and $14 at the supermarket. You can throw it in with your weekly shop. Okay, what about treating your hair the way that you treat your skin? Yeah, and a lot of people don't realise that. I mean, I often say treat your hair the way you would a cashmere sweater. You you just wouldn't throw that in the Chuck wash. Chuck it in the wash. So <laughs> hope, really, hope for the best. Yeah, exactly. So really look after it. Um, dry conditioner is brilliant. What it does is it actually moisturises the ends of the hair, and you can spray it on so it's really easy. There's, yep, spray on dry hair conditioner. I've That's never heard of that. that. Um, and System Professional are launching, are launching a whole range of products that are based around CC and BB cream. So you can actually, they're multi-purpose. Can I just give that a little bit give of a spray? Give it a little spray. It's just a spray. You just spray it through the ends of the hair. It's really fine. And then just massage it through. And it gives you that freshly shampooed, freshly blow-dried look. Don't put it on the roots if you've got if you're prone to greasy roots, and it just nourishes your hair. But it's really easy, and it's it's really made for busy women. So could you do the shampoo at the top and the conditioner yeah, at the bottom? Could absolutely. You, you, so you don't dry have to wash your hair shampoo. So much. Yeah, you can dry shampoo, and actually washing your hair can sometimes actually encourage oil because you're stimulating your scalp, yeah. massaging it. So that's cool. Dry conditioner is a winner. It's amazing. I always keep it with me. Let's talk about holds because there's been lots of advances from the old classic I, 90s mousse. There so has been. Um, today mousses are nourishing. You know, they're not 
like they once were. They don't leave your hair brittle and stiff and look like you've just got out of the salty water. Yeah. Um, I love mousse because it actually nourishes the hair and gives you volume. And most women want volume in their hair at some time or another. So again, dry off your hair so it's damp, not soaking wet when you put your styling products in. And just apply the mousse to the roots and then use your tangle teaser to get a nice volume blow dry. Section your hair off too, you know, don't deal with it all at once. Dry it off, section it off, clip bits back, so you're actually just drying it in sections like your hairdresser does. Also, cool. ask your hairdresser for a blow dry lesson. Yeah. I mean, they're good at it, they know what they're doing. They do know what they're doing. Um, so you've got a root colour as well and up here. And like makeup for your hair. You know, you between salon visits, there's a lot of these retouch. This is Kevin Murphy, Retouch Me. It's just launched, it's a new range. There's five colours. Bought that one in because it's for redheads. And I haven't seen one for redheads wow, that nice. good. So I'll spray it on my, spray it on the spray paper. On my script. Again, use that like a dry shampoo, and where you've got a bit of regrowth or a bit of grey that's visible, you can just spritz it on. I like the sprays rather than the powders because they actually are easier to use. Excellent. And just um, quickly, what have you got? And the just final finally, thing for us? another mousse to give your hair texture. This is Moroccan oil, one of my favourite brands. It's mm. really beautiful for nourishing your hair. That one gives you towsily sort of beach sexy waves. Towsily beach sexy waves. That Again, seems like my go-to style. It does. And Really, make sure you put your products in when your hair is damp, not soaking wet. Awesome. Hey, Trudy, thank you so much. Pleasure. Love it when you come in. And for more beauty know-how, you can head to Trudy's website, beautyeq.co.nz.